All right, very entertaining Saturday afternoon here in Tasmania. Ned Whiskey, Tassie Super Sprint. We're going to chat with our top three off the back of race three. Congratulations, SVG, win number two of the year. And uh, chase home all the way by Will Davison and Cam Waters. Let's get into the good stuff. The battles down uh, that we had in those opening few laps. Shane, can you talk us through the opening few laps of that race? Because there was stuff going everywhere. Yeah, I was sitting on the grid um, and I had some bandits around me. Um, Kostecki and Courtney. I thought, oh, this is going to be fun. And then the first few laps, it was pretty wild. And then I started moving forward. But, um, yeah, tried to push. But it was unknown what these tyres were going to do. Higher pressure, softer. But... Yeah, my, my car was really good and, yeah, got through to the front and then had an awesome pit stop and couldn't really manage that much. Will was quite fast and the gap stayed about a second, but, um, yeah, well, I was cruising, but I didn't have much speed left, so if it was the other way around, it would have been interesting. How do you think Brock handled himself in those opening few laps because you had a pretty good <laughs> view of him as well? Yeah, it was, it was funny because his stuff going everywhere and then I get alongside my teammate and then all of a sudden I've got to give someone a bit more room so it's um yeah it's pretty cool he's certainly not scared of it and his performances have been awesome you know he's been in the top 10 every race I think and um yeah out qualified me again today like he's he's going really well like it's his first day here and pretty impressive we'll talk about the moves down at turn four in a moment but the yep. moves at, over the hump at turn one were really impressive as well how'd you pull those off uh, I don't know, we were going, when you're side by side, you've got to be pretty slow, like I was well alongside, and then the guys on the inside were were nice to me as well, so I, I was nice at two, but um, yeah, it probably looks cool, but it feels a bit awkward because you're trying to give room to the other guy. Can you talk us through the two moves at, at turn four, first yep. Will and then Cam? Yeah, I passed them both down the inside, they missed the apex by two car widths and I filled the hole. Was there a little bit of a rub? Yep, both of them. There's a lot of chat going around at the moment about the legality of that move there's nothing in the rule book that you're breaking right oh like i don't i wasn't just smashing them on purpose but um you know you allowed some rubbing on the exit of the corner and i don't know they they break a bit early and then they went wide so i i just shoved it down the inside and got on the throttle early and got alongside them and yeah i rubbed them but you know that's what we want or we're, what we're allowed to do so i i drive like that but um i'm sure i don't know could have followed them around for 44 laps but People complain about that too. <laughs> well done today. Highly entertaining race. We'll go to Will and uh, good solid result for you. Let's, uh, let's start with that first, mate. Well done. Um, yeah, yeah, exactly. No, it's been a good day. It's been a pretty intense day for everyone. Back to the Super Sprint format. So uh, for me, yeah, I mean, it's just nice to be down here in Tassie racing um, to another, another circuit, I suppose. So yeah, felt, felt pretty strong all day. I mean, obviously we hadn't really had any time to prepare a race car, if you like, um, throughout practice. So it was a bit of an unknown for everyone. Um, disappointed to obviously lose and be second, but happy as well. So we, we weren't quite strong enough at the end of the day. So um, is what it is. It's been a really good day for us. Um, certainly got a lot of strengths in the car, some things we definitely need to work on. That win, is it, is it coming? It feels soon? Does it feel close for you? Ah, uh, well, yeah. I mean, you win when you deserve to win. So, end of the day, we're putting ourselves in good positions um, again, and we'll just keep doing that. So, <laughs> I want to win, but they were too quick today, and um, that's all I'm focused on at the moment, just trying to make sure we're a bit, bit faster. The turn four manoeuvre from your point of view? Uh, well, I, d I didn't even comment, I don't think, during the race. I mean, yeah, there was definitely contact a couple of times. I was more concerned about not being able to uh, be as efficient in the braking and, and uh, you know, to be vulnerable like that. So, um, yeah, certainly a bit of contact, but that's, uh, that's the way it goes at the moment. I'll just focus on being more competitive and, and uh, we'll, we'll press on. That's, that's the main thing to worry about for me. Okay, well done today, mate. Thank you. Cam, you were a little bit more vocal uh, on the radio off the back of what happened down there at Turn 4. Do you think it was fair? I can't even remember what I said, but um, yeah, I didn't break early. I just, that's all I had left. Um, so yes, yeah, I'm breaking as efficient as I could. You know, Shane's car was, was pretty quick and he could turn under me. Um, I'm all for hard racing and bumping and all that stuff and yeah, I didn't really think there's much in it and I expect to be able to give it back to people and not get a penalty either so um, that's what we want. We're an entertainment business and uh, we don't want to just follow the leader so um, I gave him the bird. I don't think he even saw it so I was a bit disappointed about that but <laughs> yeah, I'm all for hard racing. Cool. Uh, from your point of view, the day, great armor qualifying session. Um, you sounded surprised that you got the pole on that one. Yeah, I was super shocked. I um, didn't think I was going to be pole. I was, you know, thinking we might have been fifth or sixth, and um, yeah, I didn't really do the best job. So, 
yeah, pretty surprised with that. And, um, you know, last year we were fast over one lap. I think we've definitely improved the, you know, race car, but still got a little bit to go to, to catch. Probably Shane, um, probably similar to Will today, but, yeah, we just got to keep chipping away. And, um, yeah, I think Shane sings a lot better than ours on the brakes and can turn a little bit better, and, and we're probably, you know, similar coming off the corner. So, um, yeah, that's what we have to work on. Coming off uh, Sydney where there was a lack of speed on the Saturday, it was hard to gauge where you guys were because it was wet on Sunday and you were quick. Is it a huge positive step then to be grabbing pole positions and then up on the podium fighting for a win? Yeah, definitely after Sydney. It was, it was another you know, tough weekend for us as a team. But you know, Sunday at Sydney was definitely a good turnaround. We um, threw a lot at it and, and you know, fourth was, was good. You know, it was wet conditions, but even in the dry, we were pretty competitive. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's nice just to come to a different circuit that's, that's not SMP, to be honest. So, um, yeah, it's awesome to be in Tassie. The weather's great. You know, it's a shorter track, and I'm loving it. All right, well done. Got a microphone for the journos if uh, anyone has a question. Um, just for you, Cam, um, I got to talk to JC yesterday, and he said he's really enjoying mentoring you, and um, obviously you've got a few young fellas in your, your, um, your, ship, your garage. So... Um, yeah, from your perspective, how's it been having JC and learning from him? Yeah, he's all right. He's a pretty um, experienced old cat, so he's um, interesting to race. You know, he's got lots of lots of experience. He's fast. He's got a lot to, to add to the team um, in all different aspects. So, yeah, it's awesome to have JC in the team, um, enjoying working with him, and, and, you know, having Jake and, and Tom are, are pretty cool, to, you know, additions to the team as well. They bring, you know, a lot of, um, you know... What's the word? Excitement. You know, Randall's 100 mile an hour. Jake's a little bit laid back. So, you know, there's all these different elements in the driving group and it's, um, it's really cool to, to be part of it and work with those guys. Um, and just, Shane, what did you make of the super soft tyres? There was a lot of talk about that um, yeah. going into today. So how did you find it? Yeah, they're, they're a good tyre. The thing I don't agree with is the PSI rule. Like, 19's too much, you know. It's, you just drive slower and everyone drives the same. It's better when you're got 17 then not all your tyres are at minimum you're playing with your tyre pressures to decide where you're going to be stronger in the stint you know 17 I guess is for safety 19 is to try and make the racing better but it just doesn't work I don't think so I think they should be 17 then you'd see some differences in tyre pressures and the racing would be better but yeah the tyre goes off but you just drive to the grip level but the PSI thing's artificial for me. Will, that podium sees you equal DJ's career podium record of 65. So not only as an icon of the sport, but also your boss. What does that mean to you? Uh, oh, yeah, someone said that before. I mean, it's, I mean, it's obviously any time you're mentioned in the same sentence as DJ. It's a bit of a weird one. You feel, uh, yeah, you feel, yeah, you don't really feel like you should be. So uh, anyway, it's nice. It's a nice statistic. Um, focused on getting some wins, though, to be honest. But... Um, yeah, obviously scored quite a few podiums in the last little while, so um, I had no idea that was a stat. Um, I think DJ is a lot more of a legend, but um, yeah, nice to clock up some form of stat, I suppose. Since we're talking milestones, uh, we don't get much out of Shane on these ones, but you now move to fourth on the all-time wins list. You're sharing it now equal with Scotty and Garth Tander, who might be in the room right now. Your thoughts on that? Thank you. <laughs> Your thoughts are thank you? I don't know, but... I don't know, it's cool, two good friends, and um, yeah, it's, um, it's awesome to, to share that one. Um, Scotty obviously got here quicker than I did, and uh, Garth took a lot longer, so, but yeah, it's... Um, <laughs> so, it's cool, but yeah, I don't, I don't mind, I'll worry about this stuff when I'm older, but um, it's, a, it's a good thing to celebrate, I guess, and always a nice feeling to win. Well done, guys. Last call for questions in the room, and uh, thank you all very much. Well done.